this is Mike from Truck It In Wyoming. You are watching TJV, Trucker Josh Vlogs. As he's going down the road with his best buddy, Diesel. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Of the weasels and the woozles. Diesel! Lord Weasel! Can we go back to bed, man? Too early. The sun's up, man. Time to go to work. I have for you to go to work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go back to sleep. Okie dokie. As they say. All our wheels have released. I set my trailer brakes overnight, but it's not that cold. Probably about 32 Fahrenheit right now, which to me is not very cold. Let's take this thing. Let's take this thing on the road. Let's, let's get at it. Another new day. We have two full days of driving yet to get to BC. So I've tightened my load down and made sure that everything is good to go. Done my pre-trip. Got, <coughs> gotten the truck up to a point that it's good for the highway. And I'm excited to get this day done. I'm gonna go through some mountains today. Now this makes me happy. Wide open spaces of the west. We're in uh, Wyoming right now, the very tip of the, the northeast corner. Just barely going through Wyoming. Wow. You know, I always travel through places and I tell you guys, oh, this is my favorite place. Oh, this is my favorite place. And then I get back to like the Wyoming, Utah, Montana west of the US and I'm just like no this is where I belong yep yeah I think if I ever moved to the US if that would ever happen for whatever reason I think that's where I'd find myself at home not too far south though you guys got crazy critters down there that I'm not used to I'm from the snow I need a little bit of snow to kill off all the poisonous stuff, you know? None of those rattlesnakes and tarantulas and scorpions, whatever you guys got down there in the desert. Crazy people living amongst all those demons. No, no, no I, I don't want all that. I, I'll live up here in like either uh, Montana, Wyoming, maybe Utah, but it'd be northern Utah. Southern Utah, they get a little bit... I mean, the weather's nice, yeah. But I, I kind of like the snow. I mean, I like the cold. Part of who I am. This is God's country out here, though. It's just beautiful. Just middle of nowhere. Any of you guys live around here? We're gonna be crossing the border into uh, Montana, eastern, southeastern Montana, right away. And Montana's definitely in my top three favorite states, maybe even my top two. But now we're happy where we are right now up in Canada. I mean, things are going good. I mean, as long as the U.S. economy is doing so good, our economy is doing good because you guys like to buy all our stuff. 
and we like to buy your stuff so as long as we keep buying each other's stuff I got lots to do and I got no reason to move because I'm not gonna uproot my entire family just because I feel like moving to the US I mean, no we're good enough in Canada it's, it's a great country they, they're, they're both good countries there are more freedoms in the US that I would love to enjoy but I'm not like I'm not in a position where I need to run away and abandon my country just because I feel like nah nah, nah. No, for some reason, whatever reason, God saw fit to place me into Canada, into southeastern Manitoba, and that's where my home is. He decided to put me there, so that's where I'm that's where I'm supposed to be. And unless if circumstances force me out of there, that's where I'll stay. But I love coming to visit the US. I love coming down here. Great people. Great, great scenery great country. I'm a big fan of the U.S. I don't know if you've noticed this or not. I'm a big fan. Doesn't mean I'm not a fan of Canada, but I don't know. I just, I, I think we live in a great part of the world. Like North America, Canada, and the U.S. Like, what a, what a great place to be born into. Like, out of the, out of all the countries in the world, I was born into North America. That's enough right there to be thankful. We live in the most awesome part of the world. I love exploring it with you guys. Look at this. Wow. This is the Montana, the, the Montana, the Montana state line. Just wow. You got scenery like this, you got the hum of 18 wheels beneath you. The smell of diesel fuel burning. Nice load, wrapped up like a Christmas present. <coughs> Excuse me. Like a little Christmas present, look at that. It's not the best wrap job. I guess I could have made it a little bit tighter and neater, but what? Oh, there it goes. Oh, that sound, the sound of 18 wheels. Do you guys like that sound too? I live for that time. It's not quite the same when it's four wheels. The sound of the whistling turbo. It's a good day. I think I'm just happy because it's not cold. I've been really bad. Or have I been really good? Double quarter pounder with cheese. I forgot to ask for no pickles. Whatever, I'll pick the pickles off myself. Large fry. Or 
Mm, excuse me, my mouth is watering. I gotta go. That makes one happy trucker. I don't have McDonald's all the time. <coughs> all the time. <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a problem with stuff getting stuck in my throat today, apparently. Oh, man, that was good. I haven't finished it yet, just had a few fries. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, yes. Yes, how do I get out of here? Does it matter? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, let's continue on down the road. We're gonna go to Missoula for night. I believe that would be the best option for us. Missoula Flying J. Hard to see, there's anybody coming. We have made it all the way to Missoula, Montana. Gonna fuel up here, find a nice parking spot, call it a day. You have arrived at your destination on the left side, town pump number 8500. It's a town pump, but they got pilot fuel. Tired, I'm ready to go to bed. First, we need to put fuel in our tanks. 